Welcome, folks. This is going to be a short Let's Play I'm going to do just because I have been neglected of my other Let's Plays because I got bored of them. Ooh, it's by LucasArts. You know what that means. If it's by LucasArts, it's awesome. <coughs> it's Star Wars is awesome. And look, an absolutely horribly drawn rendition of the scene of episode, scene of episode 4. You know it's going to be good. You see, I actually do like this game, but I'm going to be making fun of it. This is for the, this is, this is, um, Star Wars Arcade for the Sega Series This is going to be an awesome adventure. This is going to be an awesome adventure. You know, like, Tate's Game. You know, nothing to do with the Tate's Game. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's Way down. That we are. Um, hmm. How do we do that? Man. We're just going to do this. Yay! I'll do a single player because attention like all wing pilot stand by to receive orders and Akbar sounds even stupider than you wipe out enemy fighters yeah that's what they do to my knowledge I haven't gotten far enough to actually see if you can if there's anything to do other than wipe out enemy fighters and look at enemy fighter Tides will go in front of me like it is. See like that. Aha, better turn radius on the floor. Do 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 Classic feet, classic music, horribly mauled. Genesis this is for the 32X. For the 32X is an add-on for the Sega Genesis. So the music isn't all right. Great, because it uses the same damn sound chip that makes the Genesis horrible. I mean, Fetch Star 4 has amazing sound for a Genesis. If, you, if that was on the... It now fly forward, peoples. Fly forward. Ah, good little time. This has very limited up-down movement, honestly. There was a game called Shadow of Bar. You could actually move in each direction. Not just limited up-down. I say I think that is. Star Wars! Ooh! Yeah! Where's the Millennium Falcon? I miss it. Millennium Falcon is a You can use the later in the game, but for now... For now, I'm just gonna, you know... Oh, you admittedly do have it unlimited. Well, not unlimited, but they do charge over time and time, but... Well, quite a few of the, uh... Died. This will completely ruin his, his continuity. Or continuity. Or however you pronounce the dead. Oh, he's not dead, never mind. Oh well, worth the shot, alright? Wipe out enemy fighters. I need to wipe out enemy fighters. Those are the 
the stupidest looking Star Destroyer ever. I mean, they have more engines than they should, and... Admittedly, these are better than Star Trek 4, although Star Trek 4 can be played on SNES with no add-ons, and you need a 32X for this. I have a 32X, but I'm only 4 to 4, so I can't play this. It kind of sucks. I bought it, and it said, oh, it has all the boards, so I spent, I spent several days trying to figure out what I was doing it up wrong. And then, you know what happened? Dang, eBay. Why must you be my only trustworthy source for getting the old games and such? I live in Garden Tail. You know, it was a little bit of Really, I want to watch. Particularly when it's in the Fury Slips. Awesome. Ties behind. Ties in front. Thai food. Tasty. Thai food. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, it could probably run on a Super Nintendo without add-ons, but you know. If anyone has seen the 32X on top of it, it's like a big bulgy thing on top of the streamlined Genesis. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Alert. You're all screwed. Alert. Skywalker. Okay, that was it. You see, I'm terrible at this game. And now we get to listen to a terrible edition of the Cantina music. Oh, it's over. Well, that was Let's Play Star Wars Arcade, peoples. I hope you liked it. This is Zednark signing off.